Welcome to Outdoors with Todd. I'm Todd, and we're heading to the outdoors, everybody. Stick with me. How's it going, everybody? What a beautiful day out here, guys. Today's plan, we're going kayak camping, everybody. So guys, we're on the Athabasca River. Plan is to uh, kayak down to a nice viewpoint, set up camp, enjoy the evening, and then paddle out of here in the morning. Not even sure where I'm gonna try to paddle out of here, so. Everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy the video, guys. so nice out here. Unbelievable. That cloud cover is keeping everything so cool and there's a nice breeze and it's a tailwind. It is awesome. So guys, <laughs> to be 100% honest, I've already strayed from my original plan. The uh, viewpoint spot I was going to go camp at, I just passed it. I was just, uh, I'm totally in love with the paddle here today and I just wanted to keep on going. So as of now guys, I'm still paddling. What a amazing day, guys. It is so awesome out here. Probably the nicest day for paddling that I've been out here. The other days were uh, pretty hot, pretty sunny. Today is unbelievable. And with that tailwind pushing me down the river, wow, just having a time here, guys. Right now I just pulled into the uh, second spot I was thinking about camping at. This is actually the spot I climbed up during my uh, first Bridge of Nowhere trip. So I'm uh, debating whether or not to uh, camp here or keep on going. I gotta be honest with you guys, I got the urge to keep on paddling. I was just loving the paddle today. So we'll see you everybody. Sweet home, guys. And you're not going to believe what I just found. Oh my god, guys. I just struck blue gold. Oh man. Yeah. treat guys what a treat handful of blueberries for a snack nothing beats that guys Woo! oh so awesome guys Set up now. 
and uh, I just seen a bear run across the ridge, so I uh, hung my food right away. That's why I put my uh, bag up in the tree there. Right behind me there, I just seen a. Uh, right up here, I quick, quickly seen a bear running running by. Couldn't even get a chance to get the camera; it was that quick. So there's definitely bears around. There's actually a bear scat in the campsite here. Right where all the blueberries are, of course. So anyways guys, gotta keep our eye out, whatever, no big deal, we got bear bangers and bear spray, so. What a beauty of a campsite, guys, look at this. Unbelievable. And it's a little bit windy, a little bit cool, keeping all the mosquitoes away. That is awesome. Beautiful day, everybody. We'll talk to you in a bit. Guys, I never thought when I was coming out here today I'd be on the hill having a magical view of the Athabasca River picking berries. Unbelievable, guys. What a find. I can't believe it. The whole spot here is covered in them. Not bad, everybody. I just got a big muck full here. So guys, as I'm here picking these berries, all I can think about is my uh, mother and my wife. Both very instrumental on the man I've become today, to be honest. And, uh, my mother at home. Mom, I know you love picking berries. One of her favorite berries to pick, guys, is uh, partridge berries. She's uh, probably the uh, world's leading expert on uh, partridge berry picking. So, mother, I'm out here picking berries, thinking about you. Just wanted to say I love you. And for my uh, honey bunny at home, who does everything for me, honey, I love you. These berries are coming home to you, sweetheart. We'll see you in a bit, guys. I can't go any farther because uh, I'm just using a big uh, bushcraft knife. And usually to scoop out the spoon part, you use a knife called a spoon knife. It's almost like a scoop. But I don't have one of those here with me, so I'm going to stop now so I don't ruin it. But so far, so good. There was a couple knots in this one, so I had to go around the knots. That's why it's shaped so strange. And there was another knot right here. All in all, guys, I like it. A good coffee stirrer, that's for sure. Let's dive in everybody. San Pellegrino. And some steak chunks with uh, spice on them. Should be pretty yummy guys. I was gonna have rice too, but uh, I ate way too much steak, so I definitely wouldn't be able to eat it also. Cheers, everybody! Mmm, the spice is good. First time trying that spice. Decent, yeah. Beauty of a day, guys. Time for a grub job. Good night everybody. What an awesome night. We'll see you in the morning guys.
morning, everybody. Time is now 4.32 a.m., just before sunrise. Looks like there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of clouds coming in. Maybe a chance of rain here, so. Plan of attack right now, guys, is just to get the camp back down and the hike is back down to the uh, boat on the shoreline there. And uh, we're gonna have a coffee down there somewhere, I think. Right now, I'm not really in the mood for it, so uh, once I get moving here, I'll definitely want a coffee, guys. So stick with me, everybody. Having a wonderful day. What a beautiful morning, guys. The only thing I'm noticing right now is there's lots of mosquitoes, guys. But that's okay, I got the bug spray here. I got uh, muscal. Just need a couple sprays of that. And they're probably gone now. So guys, camp is all packed up. We are ready to go here, ready to hit the river again. What a beautiful spot to camp, guys. Unbelievable here. Man, this is awesome. So guys, we'll see you down at the boat. Quite the hell of time down, guys. Especially when you got to make two trips with all this gear. Beautiful, though. Look at that spot. All the way up there is where we camped. Unbelievable, guys. Almost to the boat now. I decided to get out of here, guys. Not really feeling the coffee this morning. I just uh, chuck, chuck a little bit of water and uh, eager to paddle here. So the truth of the matter is, this morning, guys, I'm going to paddle over to the uh, left side of the river. And I'm going to see if I can find a way out to the highway before the bridge in nowhere. I'm not 100% sure, so this could turn out to be another bridge in nowhere trip, so we'll see what happens, guys. That's why I'm a little eager to get out of here this morning. I want to see where it happens, what happens. So. We're on the water, guys. We're on the move. Five o'clock in the morning. Man, it's beautiful. Just a slight breeze. It's about 15 degrees, maybe. She's a beauty, guys. Got a bear coming at me on the shore here, guys. Just having a coffee here. Stirring my coffee. And there he comes around me here. Got my bear spray out. My bear bang ready. I'm gonna shoot off a bear, bear whistle, guys. I'm gonna shoot off a bear banger now, guys. It's my favorite time of day again, everybody. 
It's coffee time! Cheers, everybody! Cheers to this beautiful morning! Cheers to you guys! And cheers to the little bear who ran away! Cheers, guys! Oh, that's good coffee this morning, guys! So, guys, that bear coming around there, I don't think he was coming for me. I think he was just uh, traveling in this direction, so... I don't think he was going to come at me, but... Uh, Better safe than sorry, he was within about 25 feet of me when I shut off the beer bangers and the beer whistle. And I gotta tell you one thing about those beer whistles, they deafen you. My right ear is ringing ever since I, since I shot it off. Because right away as they leave your hand, they're whistling and then it's really loud. Another thing about beer bangers and beer whistles, you gotta shoot them away from anything flammable. Well, I shot mine straight up in the air, there's no trees around or anything, so nothing's going to catch on fire. It's definitely one thing to be aware of when you're shooting off beer bangers. They're highly flammable. So guys, I could not find a way into the uh, highway before the Bridge of Nowhere. I was thinking there was going to be a spot by a place called Super Test Hill. But I couldn't find anything, so I had to keep on going here. So here I am, guys, having a shoreline coffee. Cheers, everybody! Coffee to go, guys! Oh, that is so delicious, guys. That is awesome. That was pretty amazing, guys, seeing that little bear coming on the shoreline there where I was having a coffee. I didn't think it really posed a threat to me, but uh, once he got within 25 feet of me, I didn't want to take the chance. I had my food bag open with some of my food laid on the ground. And there was a possibility that he could have got wind of that once he was near me that close. So I uh, decided to shoot off that bear whistle and then the bear banger. My ear is still ringing from that bear whistle. Man, those things are loud. Whoa! They start whistling as soon as you fire it off. The bear banger shoots up in the air and then explodes in the air. Which is really nice. It's far away from your... Uh, your ears when you shoot it off. But anyways, the beer took off. No issues. It's always good to be prepared. In my uh, beer spray case, I got two loaded beer bangers. One with a banger and one with a whistle. Now I got two beer bangers on there now. That's why I reloaded from over there. It's always good to have that stuff by your side. You never know, I was just stirring my coffee and I looked up and there was a bear coming down the shoreline towards me. So it goes to so show, you never know when can, things can happen. So if you're prepared, you're good to go. So guys, this is pretty awesome out here. Camping was awesome. I'm heading to the Bridge of Nowhere again. That wasn't part of the plan, but uh, that's okay. Couldn't find a spot. Pull up before the uh, super test hill. I thought I could find a spot, but for some reason I couldn't find a spot. I checked, checked one spot, and it took me right to the back of the sawmill. But I didn't want to go through there because I didn't want to be trespassing or anything. So, so I decided to uh, head down the bridge of nowhere. And if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have saw the beer on the shoreline. So everything always works out, guys. So here we are, paddling early morning again. Man, it is beautiful. Probably one of my favorite things to do, paddling. Just love it, guys. I think my favorite thing to do is uh, wildlife viewing. I love viewing wildlife. And the good thing about viewing wildlife, I can do that while I'm kayaking, while I'm hiking, while I'm mountain biking, or while I'm camping. And those are all my favorite things as well. Paddling in the morning, that's the beauty. So here we are guys, heading down to the bridge of nowhere again. Things have changed again guys. Beauty of the morning. Coffee to go. Can't beat it everybody. Woo! Pretty sure that's a bear swimming in the water guys.
There's that beer swimming again, guys. Guys, that was the third beer I seen on this trip. Yesterday evening I seen one on the opposite ridge line to where I was. Where I was there's a valley and a little stream in between. And there's another big hill on the other side. I briefly seen a beer on the ridge line of that hill yesterday. And then I seen that one up there having coffee. And now I seen that one swimming across. That was quite a distance for that guy to swim there. That's pretty impressive. That river right here is pretty huge. Now I was nowhere near him on this uh, river, guys. I, I just zoomed in, just so you know. I didn't want to startle him, scare him. Just let him do his thing. He only noticed me when he was on the shoreline, so that was pretty good. Anyways, guys, what a paddle, what a day. Almost there, everybody. Maybe two or three kilometers. What an awesome paddle again, guys. I wasn't expecting to be coming to the Bridge of Nowhere on this trip. I hope everybody uh, enjoys these videos. For those of you who can't get out, I hope this uh, helps you out. For those of you who can, I hope this inspires you to get out. So guys, if you haven't already, Please subscribe, please give it a thumbs up, and of course guys, share it with your friends. Really helps me out guys, and I really appreciate it. So everybody, I'm Todd, and you're watching Outdoors with Todd. We'll catch you on the next one everybody. Thrill on Blueberry Hill. Whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm.